Let's take a fresh look at the merit order from an economics perspective. The merit order was subject to heavy criticism, especially during the energy crisis. The French Prime Minister Emmanuel Macron, for example, stated, we will take back control of electricity prices. The German Minister of Economic Affairs, Robert Habeck, demanded a decoupling of the electricity price from the gas price. And head of EU Commission Ursula von der Leyen stated this market system doesn't work anymore. So what exactly is the problem? Let's take a look at Germany. The German electricity prices are 93% correlated with the natural gas price. And all that despite a high share of cheap renewable energy in the system. To be better able to understand the problem, we first have to understand supply and demand at electricity markets. We have different electricity supply technologies. Those different technologies have different fixed costs and different marginal costs. The fixed costs are the costs that are independent of electricity output. Those costs do not concern the merit order that we will discuss later on. A typical example of fixed costs are the investment costs of a plant. On the other hand, we have the marginal costs, which are the costs that change with output. Indicative of marginal costs are, for example, fuel costs. Potential investors then try to anticipate the future earnings of a plant the revenue relative to the total costs, which include the fixed costs and the marginal costs that have to be paid over the lifetime of a plant. Then we have the demand for electricity. Household consumers, industrial consumers and manufacturing consumers all want to consume electricity. Suppliers of electricity can sell their electricity to the demanders either through direct contracts or indirectly through an electricity retailer. These markets are distinguished according to their temporal perspective. We can trade electricity over the counter through power purchase agreements, at intraday markets, at different forward markets or at the day ahead spot market. Day ahead spot electricity is what we now investigate further because it is traded at an electricity exchange. Moreover, the day ahead spot market sets the reference price or serves as the reference market for all other electricity markets. Europe is divided into many different electricity price zones, which are often following national borders. Therefore, we have many different electricity exchanges in Europe, the largest of which is Apex Spot. So let's take a closer look at the Apex Spot Day Ahead electricity spot market. For each individual hour of the next day, electricity suppliers and electricity demanders place their bids. So each hour of a day is its very own market. Here we have the example of hour 18 on October 14th of 2024. Here we see a screenshot of supply and demand bids. The downward sloping orange curve is the demand curve. The upward sloping gray curve represents supply bids. At their very intersection, we get the electricity price, which was 257 euros per megawatt hour. The upward sloping gray curve is indeed our merit order curve. And because it is so difficult to see what happens here in this screenshot, very often you see a stylized merit order for educational purposes. It is this typical step function curve that essentially represents the marginal costs of the very technologies that we can use to supply electricity. Nuclear power and renewable energy has low marginal costs followed by lignite and hard coal and usually natural gas has the highest marginal costs and serves as a peak technology. At the intersection of supply and demand, we get the uniform electricity price, which determines the variable profits of all technologies that are in the market. Okay, let's apply now some economic intuition. Power plants marginal costs essentially determine the supply bids. It would make no sense for a plant owner to bid below marginal costs because nobody wants to make a marginal loss. Moreover, for given supply capacity, the electricity production decision or the supply bids do not depend on the fixed costs. All right, let's finally conduct effects check. 
First of all, the merit order is not specific to electricity markets. Every exchange traded commodity follows the merit order principle, such as coffee or wheat. The merit order ensures cost efficiency. The merit order ensures that the most cost efficient plants get dispatched before more expensive power plants in order to meet demand. And that brings me to my next point. There was no market failure during the energy crisis. A high electricity price is not a market failure, nor the fault of the merit order. A high electricity price conveys a signal of scarcity and encourages energy saving or investment into more supply. Moreover, there is no merit order obligation. No one is bound to the merit order. Suppliers can freely sell their electricity through bilateral contracts or on OTC markets or on any market they want. During the electricity crisis and the discussion about the effectiveness of the merit order, a systemic importance of gas was revealed. Despite cheap renewable energy sources, gas power plants were still needed to meet demand. So in conclusion, the merit order did not fail. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe or watch my other videos.